a very, very special day. And it wasn't always that way. Sometimes I know like when you're a youth and you're always like, I'm ready to go do all these different stuff. But, and I, and I get the idea of treating the Sabbath as if it's a, I can't do things. And it's like, as I grew older, I learned the Sabbath is nothing to do with, I can't do things as much as it is, the Sabbath that I can do things. There's things that are so special about the Sabbath, so neat about the Sabbath. In today's lesson, one of the things that, um, <laughs> all right, uh, one of the things I'd like to point out is that the Sabbath has so many blessings and so much to teach us. What Jackie read this morning here was that it was a sign between us and to the rest of the world, God's people, the commandment-keeping people, the ones who will stand, though the rest of the world may fall, the ones who will stand on the principles of God and be blessed. The Sabbath is a huge blessing to me. I hope it is to each one of you as individual. If it isn't, you may want to consider what it is about your Sabbath and, and our attitudes towards it that we need to change because God invented it for you. He did not invent us to keep the Sabbath. He invented the Sabbath for us so that we may enter into his joy. 